I think probably it will impact everyday life, obviously through what it's going to do to medicine. And I think over the next 10 years anyway, it's going to really impact everyday life through diagnostics. And it's through a diagnostics that one, will be able to detect disease very early, two, will be able to take a particular disease and stratify it, that is, all prostate cancers aren't the same, there are probably three or four different types, and you'll eventually have to match them against distinct therapies, so stratification is important. And then I think three, it will be able to take a particular type of disease and say how far it's progressed. And again, in the future, we'll match our therapies against how far the disease has progressed. So I think that kind of diagnostics is just going to revolutionize how we think about doing medicine. I think a second way that it's going to revolutionize uh, uh, medicine is that it's going to push us toward uh, a personalization of medicine. So in the focus, the whole future of medicine will really be on the individual. And in fact, my prediction is in the future, we won't use population-based averages to say whether you're normal or not. Rather, we'll gather a lot of data from you over the course of your lifetime, and you'll be the control for yourself. And that's the intrinsic way, powerful way, to handle the enormous genetic polymorphisms that separate uh, human beings from one another and so forth. I think by 20 years, probably, we will take these systems approaches to therapy. That is, we'll really begin to understand, at least for some diseases, the nature of their dynamical networks. And we'll begin to think about the rational design of drugs that can re-engineer the behavior of the debt networks and make it, make it uh, behave in a, in a more normal fashion. And then, and then finally, I think the really big revolution that's going to come from this kind of medicine is the fact that uh, individual patients are going to have to be educated because medicine in the future, and within 20 years certainly, is really going to become focused on wellness. And that means patients are going to have a lot of responsibilities they don't today. And they have to understand the nature of the responsibilities or they obviously won't, uh, won't be able to meet them. And whether this comes about through better education uh, at K through 12 science um, years, or whether it comes about through public in, uh, education, TV, uh, and those kind of things. I think all of those tools are going to have to be uh, be used in the future. But I, I, I think systems biology will profoundly change the world um, through uh, its transformation of medicine and healthcare. But I would also say these systems approaches open up the possibility of thinking in completely new ways uh, about agriculture and how we generate the food we so desperately need, about uh, biological uh, solutions to energy problems. Uh, I think they're going to open up uh, the path to being able to rationally understand nutrition and uh, that, of course, would be a part of wellness and so forth. So I, I think these systems approaches will impact many different aspects of our life. And, and finally, uh, I think the big area that systems approaches are going to impact is I think biology is going to provide solutions to many other disciplines dealing with complexity. For example, uh, biology has had 3.8 billion years of evolution to figure out really clever molecular machines that can uh, make measurements and, and, and do various types of things, and engineering can certainly use those machines. Biology has invented all sorts of new materials it could have uh, for, for uh, systems engineering enormous impact on the world. Biology has figured out new chemistries that let you do really quite remarkable things by moving various kinds of atoms around and so forth. And, and finally, biology has learned uh, integrative computing in a manner that humans have never ever thought about before. And that's fundamentally at the core of how it, it deals with and integrates all of the information that comes in from all these different kinds of biological networks. So I think biology is going to transform many other 
sciences as well. And that's why I've always argued, I think for the 21st century, biology is really going to be uh, the queen of all the sciences.